what you're saying really is a systemic or a fundamental error in quality control or in manufacturing process. Like you're not just talking about a few aberrant batches. You're talking about a fundamental flaw in the methodology. You know, this is quite a big accusation to make that lipids are potentially unsafe or not stable in the way that we store them or, or, or create them. Is that a fair characterization of what you're saying? That's a rough question to ask or to answer rather. It's both. Um, it's so new and it hasn't been and it was only in small amounts before. Mm. So to say it's un unsafe when I see the the data, like I have my own FOI, I have my own FOIA request that I've placed using some pretty high science tech terminology. Like I'm asking for proteomics, lipidomics. I looked at the batches that caused and I'm, I'm, uh, I'm with the federal govern government right now trying to get that information, but the lipids themselves, are they safe? There are so many interactions that can happen in the human body with each one of those lipids and their characteristics of how they function, whether they have a charge. Some of them have what's called a aggregation. There's flocculation, if you wanted to talk about that, and uh, Oswald effect, where, you know, we're, we're seeing some people that don't have any issues, but then others do. And we've had drugs on the market that killed a few people and they're removed mm. immediately. And this one's not. So I would 